Well, that was a bit of a uh, chaotic. So we've clashed with another bunch. Really not very good. And mine will be in there with them, no doubt. Another uh, nice day, and we're going to uh, let the birds out for a bit of a fly, I think, this morning. And see how they get on. Flew really nice yesterday, so hopefully they do the same again today. steady enough with this photo, uh, zoom lens on. I've got uh, a couple on the loft, a couple on the house and we've got three still flying around the house or four one on his own so they're not really grouped together and then the main bunch of nine are somewhere somewhere in the sky. I have no idea where but they're obviously flying really well at the moment. I can't say if they're the same nine that were um, that took off yesterday. But it'll be interesting to see if they all come back and if they all come back as a group. There's three. That's white um, Ryan, not Brian, and probably Mush Mush because they're always together. There's another one here flying around on his own. We've got those two there that aren't out yet and then the main bunch took off that way uh, and I've no idea where they are oh, they're still going for a bit of a spin now see if they can group together but I'm not sure where the there they are look right up there one two three four five six seven eight nine I think that's Oh, that's great, isn't it? Look. So they're obviously the most confident. Just coming back. Wow. They've been to distance. Completely out of sight for a good 10 minutes. This will be the first attempt. I'll get them off the chimp up there. Birds out for a bit of a fly. Okay, so that's not what we want to happen. There's a big bunch over there, and mine here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. So we've clashed with another another bunch. Really not very good. There, look. So they're not mine. There loads of them, look. Mine will be in there with them, no doubt. <clears throat> There's my lot. So we could do with getting them down. Oh, terrible timing. If they go elsewhere... <clears throat> Blimey neck, they're not ours. There's the other lot. 
over there. So, I mean, lofts often clash, I'm assuming, if you're on an allotment or you're somewhere where there are lots of them. It's just that these birds, mine, have only been flying for a couple of weeks, so I'm just worried that they'll um, they'll get taken wherever they go. Like my head is saying, bring them in, keep them in. Yeah, I'm just going to have to see what happens, I think. And get these guys. Feeding down here, mate. Here's one look. Might be breaking apart now, but go on. There's a big load of them there, look. They're going off that way. I think these are mine. Let's see if this works. I've left the bloody latch up there. They're not going to be dealing with that. Come on. Well, believe it or not, we've got 17 birds still. 17. All 17 there, look, which is insane because they were literally flying with them, the two, uh, my flock and, and that other one, all combined together, flying circles around, and I thought they were just going to take them off because there's nobody else in the village that has pigeons. That was a bit chaotic. Um, I've still got two birds out because I'm all out of sync, really. I would usually let them out until they get tired and they start to want to come back in, and then I'll get them back in. Um, but I called them in a little bit sooner there because I was worried that they'd clash with the other other birds which are obviously just ranging or loft flying or whatever, there's a lot of them. Um, must have been 40, something like that. Um, and so I called them in, some came in, so I fed them and others didn't and so now I'm a bit all out of sorts. So I think I panicked a little bit there and probably, you know, a bit over the top. Um, but we've still, we've still got two out at the moment on the roof there. I've got to go back to work because I start at like half five in the morning. So I just came back from a lunch to breakfast um, to let them out this morning. But I've got to go back to work. So I'm going to have to leave those two out with the trap open. Um, I'm not convinced I'm going to do that. No, I'm going to close the trap just in case the cat comes. Um, but yeah, bit <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll close the trap, 